Clear prop. I am about to fly a plane. Thing is, I have absolutely no aviation experience whatsoever. I am probably the furthest thing from a trained pilot that you could possibly get, and I have logged exactly zero hours of flying time. But regardless of my inexperience, I am about to take off, fly over a city, and land safely on a river. So how exactly can someone like me do this? The answer is back on the ground. So you're looking at the Icon A5, which is a light sport amphibious aircraft. Lands on the water, lands on land, uh, even allows you to go fishing on the lake. So it's a recreational vehicle for folks that uh, want to go have some fun on the weekends and find themselves in a, in a new adventure. The only reason that all of this is possible is because of the plane that I'm sitting in. The Icon A5, a small amphibious aircraft designed to be outrageously simple to fly. When you step inside, the first thing you notice is that the interior doesn't look anything like what a typical airplane cockpit looks like. You're not overwhelmed by an army of buttons, knobs, and confusing instrumentation. Well, BMW and Nissan helped with the final design of the aircraft, and you'll notice on the inside, on the cockpit, it actually resembles a car. And we put that angle of attack indicator right in the focal point of your eyes, so you always know where you are so you can be safe. The biggest innovation is this thing called the angle of attack indicator a little gauge that combines multiple flight indicators into a single simplified display. So really how planes fly is generating lift. So what the angle of attack is, is measuring the relative angle of the wing to the wind or the airflow that it's flying through. So the AOA gauge and the aircraft, what it's doing is constantly calculating if the wing is what say is healthy. As long as you keep your angle of attack in the green zone of the indicator, complicated things like taking off and landing are drastically easier to pull off even when you're landing on water. The A5 has also been painstakingly engineered to be super stable and predictable in the air. This is largely thanks to a slew of smart design elements, things like wing cuffs and vortex generators. The A5 is the only spin-resistant certified aircraft uh, under Part 23 regulations. So what that means is uh, it's very difficult to enter a spin and the stall characteristics are very benign. So it's very safe for new pilots and experienced ones. Now, it's a good thing our training pilot was super experienced because I just about shit my pants when he did this. All good though. One of the cool things about this is the fact that it's not just an airplane that lands at the airport we're at today, but uh, it lands on water. So what's great about the Northwest and a lot of states here in the U.S. is a lot of the lakes and rivers are open to seaplanes. There's just not a lot of them. So today we're going to be flying on the Columbia River, but you could find yourself landing at Lake Washington up in Seattle or really any lake probably spread across the U.S. Does this mean that anybody can hop in the cockpit of one of these suckers and start flying right away? Uh, the biggest hurdle on getting somebody to become a pilot is just getting them in that mindset that they can do it. And a lot of times when, you know, if I, they see an airplane, they think, oh, I'm not a pilot, I, I'm not, I can't become one. How do you go about doing that? And what we try to do with this is we put it in the light sport category, which means you only need a, a sport pilot certificate, so that takes about 20 hours to get. But we also wanted to make it fun and simplified. When you start flight training, it's very procedural. It's, uh, there's a lot of learning with it, as there is with this, but there's a lot of emphasis on safety with every aircraft. And 
A lot of that is built into this plane. We've got the parachute, we've got the spin resistance, we've got the AOA and a, and a simplified way to fly. That's what's so remarkable about the A5. It's easier to learn, it's safer to fly, and it doesn't require half a year of flight school before you can take one in the air. In other words, ICON has democratized aviation and made an airplane that practically anyone can fly. And that's something we can all get excited about.